Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be my Guitar Mastery Method review. I've already written this review and signed up for um, their 101 course, so it's going to be uh, this course here, the Guitar Mastery 101. They call it their flagship course, and, and look, I understand there's a lot of courses here, but um, I could only kind of, uh, only did one, and you know, I'm, I'm going to extrapolate what Guitar Mastery Method is from that one course, and I think it's a good representation of kind of the overall quality of their site and overall quality of their content. Um, not that it couldn't improve with some of these other courses, but that's what I did. And just so you can see that I actually bought the course, uh, here's a shot of my invoice. Um, it's 140 bucks. you get access to the 101 course, and then you get, it, it, I'll, I'll get to this later, but it, you, you can upgrade um, uh, to kind of a monthly membership type thing. Um, but 140 bucks, uh, it was expensive by, by most comparisons, uh, for one course, but, um, that's what I did. So just so I could review it and, uh, we'll jump right in. So the sign up process, this is something that bothered me right away, um, about this program. And this is something that is, this is an old way, uh, of, of marketing. This is, this is kind of like a, a, a deep sales funnel here with these types of pages. And you've probably seen this before. If you've, you know, spent time on the internet, this is just a very typical, um, kind of old school sales page that just kind of goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and there's a bunch of testimonials and all this stuff. Um, and, and this is one of the reasons that I like the sites that I like for, um, guitar lessons is like, you know, true fire and jam play and guitar gate and guitar tricks. Like they don't do this. Um, this, this kind of stuff drives me crazy. Uh, so basically to, to sign up, what I had to do is get back to my review here. So what I had to do was kind of go through this, questionnaire uh which you know honestly was just not you know the odds of this being relevant to you is just so minimal um you know they're asking you what kind of guitar do you play and if you had just one thing you could like you struggle with what like uh like what what is it and and so you go through this questionnaire and it 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 seems to uh, the, the, they they kind of give you like okay well this is your issue there's a custom video solution um, that has been generated uh, and and I just went ahead and skipped this video because like I I just want to go and buy the course um, so you know after finally getting through all that you get to this screen which again is just uh, right here like could have gone to that from the start like but but if you go here without signing in then you're gonna have to once you sign in then you're gonna have to go through all these all these hoops but anyway. That was a pain, is what it is. Uh, now, now that I'm in, uh, you know, I can start reviewing the content and actually looking at what the stuff is. So, um, for the the one course I have access to is the 101 course, and there's six modules, uh, and you can see they list the number of videos um, on each one. And and truthfully, this is just not a lot of content. Um, videos are, you know, kind of your typical, you know, maybe uh two four six maybe nine to ten minutes here or there it just um it's just not a lot of content so like particularly like model two and five i mean there's only three videos each in there and uh it, you know it it just wasn't for what i paid like the 140 bucks to get in here was i mean that's one of the highest prices that the, i think that's the highest price guitar course i've i've ever seen like single course like type stuff, especially for beginner stuff, 140 bucks is a lot. Um, so that, the, I take points off for that, but once you get into the material, he kind of does two different types of presentation. He has a kind of like a PowerPoint uh, with a voiceover, sort of like I'm doing now, kind of a video cast where he is going over basic stuff like here. I think he's looking at chord diagrams. He's teaching you how to read tabs, um, kind of going through his basic stuff, a lot of which um, you can find elsewhere. You know, I wasn't, I, I liked the style, the, the voiceover thing. Um, but, but the content, I guess, wasn't, wasn't particularly groundbreaking because again, a lot of it, a lot of it is free, you know, pretty much wherever. And, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I paid a bunch of money for this. Um, but he also does like the traditional, uh, video demonstration with guitar and hands. So when you get down here, um, some couple screenshots of that, but I'll talk a little bit about it first. There were just some, some, quality issues with the videos and with the audio so when you're watching the uh the stuff he's doing where he's demonstrating with a guitar in hand like i noticed the videos were just really dark um it was a little bit hard to hear him it seemed like his guitar was really loud it, it just didn't seem like uh there they 
had they, they had the production down at that point now granted this is probably one of their earlier courses so i'm assuming like their production gets better with uh as they go on here as they've been adding courses um but but still like you know this is they're calling this their flagship course and it's got these issues and you can read more about that i go into a little more detail about that the audio and video problems here that's in the, the review i'm going to link to that in the video description um and kind of the way i tested it out but uh, that, that just is what it is i'll, I'll i'm just going to kind of like you know i'm, I'm going to let that just just kind of be what it is there uh, i mentioned here their youtube page um is is f the the recent videos there are far better with their, their production so i think their newer courses are probably um more pr produces a higher level level of quality um so for like the education quality and the material itself um you can definitely tell that charlie is super good and he he teaches the whole course and he's a you know he's definitely like a speed guy and and i think that one of the things that I, I I would I liked about it was that you if you are looking to build speed like he's definitely gonna challenge you like I could tell that so like the exercises he was doing um, I could tell that he didn't just like pulled those from somewhere else and using them to make his videos like they seem like exercises that he literally came up with like he's a good he's a good guitar player um, you know the the after I went through some of this stuff and this is just in module one like my hands were, were actually pretty sore and I've been playing guitar a long time um, so so it definitely can challenge you definitely is uh, you know an interesting angle you know particularly you know when he goes over lead stuff so i think if you're into speed if you're into like you know like that rock lead kind of style you know um uh you know maybe a little bit more vintage at this point like pre-90s type of playing uh the, this is going to be a, a fun course for you um but I, you you could also i also noticed that he kind of got into that stuff really quick um so you know you were it's a beginner course and you're in the first module but you're already getting into stuff that's like you know fairly advanced and you know almost almost you know a little bit too difficult maybe if you're a complete beginner uh that's a lot of these courses will have trouble like trying to meld you know advanced content with beginner content and then labeling it a beginner course um he ran into a little bit of that here uh but it, it wasn't it, it wasn't too bad like i think i think the stuff where you know had had he you know you can see here in this um screenshot that the video is a little bit on the dark side like same up here the lighting isn't very good um so that's a bummer and it, it is kind of a little bit hard to hear him at some points uh but again that just kind of is what it is um module four is music theory focus and he goes back to the you know kind of his whiteboard uh, powerpoint style presentation again a lot of this stuff you you can get elsewhere and it's not you know he does a good job of explaining it so you're getting his take you're getting charlie's way of understanding and uh explaining music theory but it's it's more so um let's see how many videos were in this one i can't remember module four yeah 31 videos so this is module four is the um the second biggest one so he covers a lot of theory and that definitely has some value he does a good job going through that uh and then the advanced content is is it has it has the most videos um but it's almost all lead guitar focused so again if you're not if that's not your thing like you know if you're like me i'm not really a lead guy like i never was you know a speed player um i'm much more rhythmic in the way i think so if that's you uh this probably isn't a great fit for you because he is just like he's all about lead and he's great at it um you know so he does a good job but if that's not your thing then you know it's already expensive so I, i'd probably recommend steering clear uh, and and I, and i would also you know with the advanced section being you know so heavily lead guitar and like you know heavy advanced lead technique it's not <clears throat> it's probably not good for a one-on-one -on -one course like i would not put this content in a one-on-one -on -one course because that suggests that you know oh this is a course for beginners this is where i start and then you know six modules in he's having you um doing lead guitar like speed tapping technique and i i just you know i i don't really think that's a good way to go about it it was a little bit chaotic at that point so the their their arrangement and the way they organized the content was it was not particularly bad but i also i wasn't particularly crazy about it either um you know he he does do a good job of kind of prepping you for advanced topics uh so like the earlier modules are going to be you know a little bit more foundational even though you know some are a bit shorter um 
but he just is not as thorough as the Guitar Tricks programs and the Jam Play programs uh, and Guitar Gate and some of these others. Uh, it is, it, you know, you can tell that he's kind of like angling to get you into that speed and that soloing, you know, really, really fast. Um, so I guess what I would have liked to see is I would have, you know, I would have said make the make the earlier models longer. Um, and maybe even break those up into multiple courses. You know, you could do all your one-on-one stuff, and then you could have a one or two course where maybe you go a little bit more crazy with the lead and the speed stuff, which he obviously is very into. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, Char Charlie Wallace uh, just, I think, di did himself a little bit of a disservice by not taking all that slow enough. Um, that's, again, that's not bad if that's what you want to be playing, but, but these days especially, like, I don't think a lot of people are necessarily just wanting to play speed, uh, you know, or they're wanting to just like kind of get blazing fast on the electric guitar. Like that's still, you know, something that some people want to do. But, you know, I think for the type of the way music is now, you don't really need that. Um, so that it's a lot of money to pay if that's not your angle. Uh, and, you know, I would definitely recommend, um, especially for beginner courses, the Guitar Tricks program and Jam Play. Uh, I have free trial links in the description below. That helps support the channel. And um, that's those are just programs that we like and that I've used. And um, I've worked with those guys. And I definitely recommend that uh, more than this, even if you're just looking at price um, alone. So he has a song section, which is pretty sparse. There's just a few videos in there. And he's not doing covers. They're not licensed or anything like that. He's just kind of like teaching you how to learn songs. Um, and, and then once you get into that kind of concludes the content of the one on one course um, and the you you can it was a little confusing, but wh whether you, you know, had to like re up 140 bucks for another course or sign on. But I think the way this works and I didn't do this, so I'm not sure, but I think the way this works is that you can upgrade your membership to get access to all the courses and the future releases, which is good. Um, so you don't have to spend 140 bucks on each course, which you know would be a lot. Uh, to upgrade the first month is a dollar, and all subsequent months are $27. So $27 a month, um, again, that's super high. Like that is too high for the amount of like like he's got like this is this is his course page, like all of it. That's it. And I'm not dogging that. I'm not saying this is bad or that he you know should just have more courses. I mean he he could have more courses or he could lower this price. 27 bucks a month, that's too high. Like I I would I would rather see I'd like to see him I would like to see him below the guitar gate price. So guitar gate is ten dollars a month, guitar tricks nineteen dollars a month, and that nineteen dollars comes down on you know with promos and stuff like that. Um yeah, I would just say that's that's too expensive. Um but if you like his, but if you like his teaching style and you like that, that's you know a lot of these courses I think are going to be geared towards speed. Um, the master of the fretboard workshop, uh, classic rock I think is kind of in that same vein. They have some kind of specialist courses like, <coughs> excuse me, slide guitar. That's here we go. Ultimate speed building, uh, twenty six hot rock licks. Just stuff. You know, the, this is this seems a little bit. Um, just just incohesive in the way it's been put together so um i i think that that there is there is some value here and if you go up to the let's see what i did for i gave some ratings here and and these are a little bit you know i, I like i understand that this is subjective and this is just kind of based on my experience but like i said i did i did go through the content uh and i did use it so content quality was pretty bad um the education quality i was i was happier with um but again there's there's some missteps and i think in the topical order and the concept uh, the uh, the depth of coverage and the, the the way that you know he jumped around um you know site design and video player were just okay and and pricing of value was was one of the this is one of the lowest scores i think i've ever given in this category because it is just super uh it's just super high like he charged too much um it's not weighted very high in the point scale but uh it it probably should be in this case because it's it's pretty expensive so this is kind of how it compares some of the other programs um you know i set, got him to 75.7 which is you know fine it's a good program like he is a good teacher uh but it's got some problems so i'd recommend some of the alternatives so you can go to the article check it out i'll link to that in the description below i also link to the free trials for guitar tricks and jam plays so you can check those out and give us a like and a thumbs up if you agree if not that's fine leave a comment and we'll talk to you guys next time